we are told DEF is a triangle. Okay, so DEF. We are then told P is the midpoint of FD and Q is the midpoint of DE. We're told the vector AD is A and FE is B. And we have been asked to use a vector method to prove that PQ is parallel to FE. And this question is worth four marks. Okay. Right. First thing I like to do, because we've been given a diagram and some information, is I want to label it. So we're told that FD is A. Okay, so the vector going from F to D this way is A. And we're told that FE is B. So this way is B. One thing we know is that FD to sorry, FP and PD are both going to be half of A. Okay, because we're told that P is the midpoint. So sorry, let me just use the correct vector notation here like that. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a vector for DA. So I'm going to say the vector DA equals. So DA, we go from D to E, we have to go to DF. So this is going to be from D to F and then from F to E. Like this. Okay. So DF, well this is the opposite way to FD. So this means it will be minus A. Okay, so minus A, like this, because FD, this way, is an A, and this way is minus A, so it's just a reverse direction, plus FE. Now, FE is the same direction, so this is just B, like that, okay? And writing it more neatly, we can get this as B minus A, like that, okay? So that's nice. Then from here, we will find DQ, and we know that Q is the midpoint of DE, so we know that DQ equals half, sorry, the vector dq equals half the vector dE, like this, which equals half b minus a, like that, okay? So that's all good. So we know that this here is half b minus a, like that. From here, okay, we can find um, pq. Okay, because PQ is this sort of imaginary line like this. Okay, now to find PQ, what we're going to say is we're going to say that the vector PQ equals, well, we can go from P to D, so vector PD um, plus, let's just make this D more clear, plus our vector DQ, like this. PD is half our vector of A. And dq is going to be plus half um, vector b minus vector a, like that, okay? Now, all we need to do is we are going to solve this, okay? So, we will expand this by saying this equals half a plus half b minus half a. And all I've done here is I've expanded the bracket. So, I've done half times this and then half times this. Just make that a bit clearer for you. There we go. And uh, half A minus half A, these two will cancel, like that. And we will be left with the vector half B, like that. Now, we know what PQ is, okay, and we were given FA. So to prove that they are parallel, we need to understand um, the argument that needs to come behind it, okay? So, what I'm going to write here, I'm going to actually write a statement, I'm going to say, for two vectors to be parallel, they must be scalar multiples of each other. Okay, and what this means is, say we have a vector, you know, S and a vector T, S will be K times T, where K is just a constant, okay? Whether that be half, two, etc., all the sort, okay? So, we're going to say that um, PQ equals half B and FE equals B. What this means is, if we're substituting it, that PQ equals half times the vector FE, like this, and so PQ 
is a scalar multiple of Fe. Okay. There. Let me show that a bit neater. Sorry. Therefore, PQ and Fe are parallel as required. Okay. Just make that a bit neater. But as required. There we go. Okay. Now, this uh, question is worth four marks. The first mark you get comes from finding DQ. Okay, so this here is with our first mark. Your second mark comes from a method to find uh, PQ. Okay, so getting yourself up to here is enough for your second mark. Your third mark actually comes from finding PQ correctly. And then your fourth mark is a complete proof, as we have done, so getting the value of PQ. Acknowledging with a statement that they have to be a scalar multiple, so stating that PQ is a scalar multiple of FA, and stating somewhere that uh, therefore they are parallel. Okay, so as I have done here, that will get all four of your marks.